Hi, quick video to start you off on the adventurous seahorse, this chap, doing the plain cloth stitch. Right, first pin in the first hole where it says plus two. So your plus two is going to be your worker pair, which wants a lot on, and one of the passives which doesn't need as much on. I'm not hanging them rainbow, they're just, one is hung on this way, they're loose at the moment. And we're going to do cross, twist, cross, snuggle to the pin, use a temporary pin anywhere outside this, take another passive pair with a short length on, hang that to the right and we're going to work through that with cloth, sorry, cross, twist, cross, twist, twist twice on your workers, take a pin, Put it in that second pin hole, leave this in for the moment and I'm going to work back across. Cross, twist, cross, cross, twist, cross, snuggle a little bit. I'm going to have another temporary pin, just, oh, that'll do there, right, put another pair of passives on, just round the pin like that and now using my worker pair. I'm going to do cross, twist, cross, two twists on the worker pair, twist, twist, pin in the hole that says plus one because that's the plus one that you've just put in. So I'm going to hold the worker pair snugly and tension down the passives. At this point you can take this, this pin out and take it out and try and keep hold of, it, hold of the thread in the loop and pull the passives down, either using one or both, it doesn't matter, it'll still come down to the same place. That snuggles it down to the pin and also the pin stops the loop trying to loop itself over these pins. So that's that one out, I'll go back through this one before I take that one out. Cross, twist, cross, cross, twist, cross, cross, twist, cross, twist, twist on your workers, that's two twists on your workers at the edge. If it's a finer thread you can use three twists. Put that in the next pin hole. The zigzag is already marked so you know which direction each one is going. So pulling the worker pair snug, I'm tensioning down the passive pairs and you're just starting to see the weave starting there. I'm going to take this one out now. I'm going to do it the same way. I'm going to move the light a little bit for you. I'm going to take it out, keeping the loop around the pin Pull the passives down, click, and there it goes into place. So now they're all down. And go across with another one. Cross, twist, cross, cross, twist, cross, cross, twist, cross, twist, twist, and put my next pin up. Snuggle them all down, or tension, as people say you've been taught to actually taught to make lace. Make sure they're nice and I think you can just about see that these here, let's get a little pointer, these here are the passive colours that you can see coming in from the blue, the pale green, the dark green and the worker is this pale blue which will show on the edges of the colours. You work back this zigzag coming down here until you reach this point where it says plus one but we do something else there, so that's part two. These are just little shorty videos. Thank you. See you on the next one.